Hey, Manny from Fish OV, and I troll you to sign a deflated fifth. We're gonna go down to the cellar, we're gonna have some beers, it's gonna be wicked piss up. Uh, I wish I could do that voice all the way through. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna go over uh, moving over factory presets to your XFX. Um, after each major release of the firmware, Fractal provides updated factory presets that better match the tones of the new adjustments within the amp models and uh, and show off the new features. So after this happens, um, the forum kind of becomes a buzz with how do I get these new preset files over to my Axe Effects. So this quick tutorial is going to show you how to do that. Once you go to the Fractal Audio website, you click on the support menu, it brings you to this page, you scroll down to Axe Effects 2 preset banks A, B, and C. You can see that these are for firmware 5 and above, but the process we're going to go through is going to be the same no matter what the firmware version is. This hyperlink is also hot, as well as this. Uh, and you can see in the tooltip, this is the V5 preset zip file. So you're going to go ahead and download that to a directory. Once you have the zip file on your machine, you're going to right click on it, and you can extract it to, you, know, you can use WinRAR, you can use WinZip, whatever you'd like, and you're going to extract it to a directory of the same name. So that creates us this folder. We double click on it, and we can see we have three sysx files. So now we're going to go over to Axe Edit. You can see I've already connected up to my Axe Effects, but one of the common questions is how come I can't see my Axe Effects? How come it doesn't show up within Axe Edit? So if you go to Settings, and then you go to MIDI Settings, uh, you have to make sure that the MIDI input and output are correct with your configuration. I used to use the M Audio uh, MIDI Sport, the Anniversary Edition. Uh, but once we went over to USB Mini, I've pretty much used USB Mini going forward. Uh, when you do a test connection, if you see the appropriate firmware version, you're good to go. So next, we're going to go into Axe Manage. Oh, actually, before this, if you have any presets that you've customized, uh, for instance, actually for this demo, I did a quick one because I haven't gone through and customized everything yet. But for this demo, I did a quick one. Um, 48 is Wicked Manny, and Wicked Manny is a custom preset for me. So you don't want to lose those custom presets. So one of the uh, one of the things you want to do before you move over your new preset files is you want to do a sync and backup. So under settings, choose sync and backup. Uh, you're going to sync all three banks, and then you're going to back them up to disk. Uh, and you're also going to create a, a system backup while you're at it. When you click sync, it's going to take a while. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I've already done it earlier, so I'm not going to do it here uh, for the sake of time. But it's going to take a while, and they give you some good suggestions about things like getting a cup of coffee, which is a really good idea. I think that's always a fantastic idea, and I'm glad they tell me that, and I always pay attention to that. Uh, and then when it's complete, you've got a full backup of everything that you've done uh, that you can move back over, and we'll do that at the end. We'll just move Manny's preset back over. Um, so next, we're going to go into Axe Manage, and we can see we have all of our existing banks here. If I scroll down and go to the banks section and then select Axe Effects 2. You can see I have the V3 banks from when I moved those over. I have my V4 from when I moved those over. And now I'm going to be adding the V5 banks. So I select them and I just drag and drop them over. Okay, so now I have the new V5 banks here. And if I look at bank A, for instance, I can see that these are all the new V5 uh, firmware banks. So now I want to send these over to my AxeFX banks, which are still running uh, the V4 banks. So I select bank A, I right click on it, and I send to AxeFX this bank. Now it's going to prompt me for which bank on the AxeFX do I want to send this to. Because we selected bank A here, we need to make sure we have bank A selected here as well. When you send over bank B, you're going to select bank B. When you send bank C, you're going to select bank C. Pretty obvious, but... Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and hit save. That's going to start sending these banks over to the banks... Sending the contents of that bank over to the bank on the Axe Effects. As you see here, uh, as these update, they turn green. Uh, so we're basically just waiting for all of these to update uh, within bank A and update with the latest version 5 files. 
So preset by preset, these are gonna go over until they finally make it over to 127. Once they've gone over to 127, uh, you have all of the new presets for this bank. Then you have to go to bank B. You're gonna right click here. You're gonna send to Axe Effects, this bank. That time, of course, you're gonna choose bank B on the Axe Effects. Uh, and you know, you'll have everything updated there. Um, so while this is going on, I'll show you the way to, to move the backup file that you did earlier, because you can see, basically this is what I was waiting for, is you can see that what used to be the Wicked Manny preset, which was 48 here, uh, has been replaced with the default preset. So now I have to have a method to get my presets back uh, into the correct location. So here we're going to go to utilities, we're going to go to backups, and we're going to select the backup that we did. Uh, these are time stamped backups, so I know you know which one I've done. I know that this was done on uh, the 28th. So this is my recent backup. If I scroll down to 48, I can see that I have Wicked Manny here. So if I check on Bank A, I can see I've only got a few more presets left to go. Oh. Meanwhile, how about those Pats, huh? <laughs> They've got to take the Super Bowl. <laughs> while this is uh, while this is going, let me take a moment to talk about uh, my Patriots. <laughs> okay, so only a couple more to go, and we've got all the presets updated for Bank A. So now that that process is complete, I see I hit 127. That process is complete. I can go back to my sync and backup for the 28th. I can go back to my preset, Wicked Manny. I can right click on that one. I can say send to Axe Effects, selected preset. So I'm only sending 48. So I say selected preset. It sends it over. I go to my bank A. I look at 48 and I have Wicked Manny. So now uh, when I close out and I look at my presets here, I can see that I have the latest, they're all green, and bank 48, I'm sorry, preset 48 is Wicked Manny. So I'm good to go. Uh, hopefully that was useful for you, and uh, that's the whole preset to uh, backup as well as update for each firmware. And every major version of the firmware typically comes with these presets, and the process is going to be exactly the same um, no matter what the version of the firmware. Okay, thanks, and uh, hope it helps, guys. Take care.